There's a place in your heart, and I know that it is love. And this place be much brighter. Six five. Now, what do you see is uh, called automated system. It's an automated system using microcontroller, and the title of the project is Nylon Structure Cycle Team Machine using microcontroller and it is automated. Now, what we have here now is the dozer sources of the system and uh, it's containing the key, the keypad, the switch, the on and off switch, the LCD, and two indicators. One is the power and the other one is error indicator. And the rest of the system are as follows. We have the cover LED, which is transparent, we have the carpet room and we have the spindle. So this is the spindle of the system and this is the, the uh, system check that ensures that the system on its own is ready and the carpet is put in place. Um, the rest of the system includes uh, a spindle or shaft that drags the carpet and then we have in front the slits. This is the carpet slit where the output comes from. So every other thing in the system is a black box and should not be tampered with. Now let's see the operating system and how it actually carries out its function. By way of explanation, what the system is meant to do is take the carpet from the spindle, roll it to the shafts according to the sizes that have been entered on the keypad and displayed on the LCD and then have them all output through the slit. After which a cutting system is initialized in, in, uh, within the, the system and, to, and the belt is driven by the induction motor to carry out the cutting mechanism or cutting operation. All right, so let's see it at work. Let's see how far it can go. First of all, first of all, this is the power plug and it's already fixed and all we need to do is switch it on and off and here is the main control switch which when you put it on every other thing comes alive and if you focus on the system you see it reading system ready um, just for a little more illustration I see that welcome welcome system check wait Right now it is checking the system to make sure that everything is in order and after which it will tell you that the system is ready. Now, you enter the size which you make use of the keyboard for the keypad. And on the keypad we have 0 to 9, we have A to F. 0 to 9 are the digit numbers and you must enter two digits for it to start operation. Now, 0, 0 is not a number, but 33 is the, limit, the, the maximum limit or the maximum inputs. So let's see. Um, so I'm, right now I'm going to enter size 4 and watch the system roll it out. So this is 0. Watch the system, 0. And this is 4. Watch the system, it's 4. And when I press enter, the E, the system begins to carry out its execution plan. Should instantly the system starts rolling. Now it has rolled out exactly four sizes, size four of the system, and presently it's going to make the system roll. First of all, presently the DC motor is sending the grip down. The stepper motor is sending the grip down to hold on to the carpet that has so much been outputted. After which cutting system will be carried out. And presently, everything is normal. And if you check the LCD, it says cutting, please wait. So every process going on now is the process of cutting. So if you watch, you see the system, it rolls through and it rolls back, completing a section of cutting. So presently, if you watch this slide, once the grip is released, and that's it.
Watch this. It's still saying carpet. Still in cutting process. Please wait. So once it's completed, the cut system can roll out. The amount of carpet. Okay. It says system ready. Enter size. This is a complete process. So you can now easily pull your carpet off and go and roll. <laughs> so, and this is a complete, yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. system. Interesting in its way. Now, let's see a little more information. Assuming that there was an error during the operation, for instance, imagine that the carpet was not put in place. What would be the error like? Let's assume that this pin was not in place when you started the system. What are we expecting? Now, remember, I showed you this knob, which is meant to control the system when it is not, I mean, to check the system when it is about to start functioning. Now, during system check, around here, the system is meant to detect that it is not working, and it will start blinking. Start blinking simply says, there is error in the system, and if you check the LED, the LCD, it says roll empty, and that's because the roll is not in place. Now all you have to do is put the roll in place, reset the system, and if you check, it tells you welcome, system check, system ready. So this is just one of the errors that you can easily track. The rest. Are also integrated in the system, but for want of time, we are going to stop at this. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Now.